Hi guys, and welcome to another little quick tip from DeliverCommercials.com. Listen, we're going to talk about loudness today, and uh, it's very relevant around um, Australia right now, and America with the CARM Act, all through Europe, and hopefully soon through the UK. Now, loudness is a determination of, you know, how loud the spot is, and this in no way is to show you how to mix a spot or anything of that nature if you have the opportunity and you can go into the studio and you can mix to a loudness specification I highly highly recommend it. All this is is to show you how you can get around a cheap and dirty way of getting now here and for some of you uh, video guys this is a bit freaky but don't worry it is going to be okay. I have downloaded a spot which is basically what you can get from any audio mixing guy who in, in lamest terms is probably your final mix. Now what we want to see is up here is 0 dB which basically peaks out and anything more than that will be distort, you'll lose your information and this is kind of like a full on mix as you see it's uh, very uh, beasty through all the way, all the way throughout and there's a hit peak all the way here. Now down here I have PPM uh, modulator which is absolutely awesome. Um, I've managed to route my audio through Soundflower and if I go into my system preferences you'll be able to see that my output is going to Soundflower 2 and my audio is all the way up. If you adjust your output audio with this um, schema then you'll actually have a incorrect feedback. So with that said I have in my PPM modulator, I'll go down to my settings, whoops, pardon me, I'll go to my settings, and this version I have um, R128 loudness, I have a PPM meter as well. Um, in this case we're going to look at loudness, if I go to my calibration, there is minus 23 LUFs, which is the Europe standard apart from Italy. Um, Italy and Australia are 24, and America I believe is going to be 24 unless they change their minds. So we'll give it that rating there. To make this work, this has not had any loudness done to it. This is straight out the gate, um, nothing touched to it at all. And what we're going to do, we're going to do a bit of a preview of this. So I'm playing um, the PPM modulator. That's basically recording what signal is coming into it. If I go back to Audition and just play this down, you will see that you've got a reading here. Um, this is going to go for 30 seconds, but for the arguments of time, I will stop it after around about 15. So, this is playing through. You can see that your max true peak is zero. That will represent peaking out. And if I pause this, you're going to get a load of red squares around here. We were looking for minus 24. We got minus 12. The smaller the number, the louder it is. So it's a little bit confusing, but once you get your head around it, it's great. In Australia, they require a minus 2 and a minus 9 as well for uh, New Zealand. So that's another section you need to keep an eye on right here. Now looking at this, there's a very simple way of creating an R128 um, in Audition. And you'll see that there's a panel down here. How I got that there was this match volume. So you go to your match volume. Um, actually, let me see if I can get rid of that closed panel. So I'll go up to my match volume, and you've got sections down through here. This um, R128 um, 1717 2 is the R128 um, version of that. I can make that to a minus 24. Now, what I recommend is that seeing that this is so high and this is right up near zero here, I want to kind of bring that down a bit to give a bit of space before the, um, the compression of the algorithm. Now, once I've done that, I bring this guy down into here. That's now going to activate these settings. Um, use limiting on there as well, so minus 24, and all I do is run. So what I want you to see is that I've highlighted the entire sequence. There is no tone in here, which can actually mess around with the loudness of it as well. I'm going to run this and it has brought it all down. Now if I go back to my PPM modulator, clear that out, press play on there, come to addition, play that down. Now the thing with loudness is that it's going over a scale, so it's going to look at the entirety of this clip. Now without boring you, 
trust me at the end of it here, if we just pause this down through here, this will look at the entire scale of it. This will be a plus minus tolerance. You need to check on each region. Um, majority of them are 0.5, some are up to one. Um, and here is my max peak down through here as well. We're way within that safe limit of minus two. The smaller the number, the louder it is. So we're very safe within there as well. But majority of Europe, um, soon to be the USA, this section through here is what you'll be looking at, which will be the loudness um, definition of the spot. As I said, this is a quick and dirty way of doing it. If you have the opportunity to go into an audio sweetening house and mix correctly, then I absolutely recommend that. Um, this will mess a little bit with your mix. Um, it has been used in terms throughout the world that people have made this happen. So um, I hope this little sneaky tip has helped out. And uh, any problems, give us a hoi.